Hi, my name is Angus Powers. Uh, I'm assistant professor of glass here at Alfred University, New York State College of Ceramics. And I'm going to take a couple minutes to just talk about our program and our facilities. Currently, we have three full time faculty myself, uh, Steve Edwards, who is a full professor and glass area head. He works with uh, hot glass casting and all other types of glass casting. Uh, Fred Sheeta, who's also a full professor, is working with neon and lamp design as well as glass casting and working with light and glass. Uh, we have an adjunct that tends to rotate through that teaches a class or two. Currently it's David Schnuckel who got his master's at RIT and has been here for two years. I'd like to just mention uh, the scope of our program. We currently uh, are looking at about 60 to 65 uh, undergraduate students that work in the glass blowing facility. I'd say about 30 to 40 students in the undergrad that work with the casting studio and the casting shop and then uh, about the same amount 30 to 40 students that work with glass light and neon as they go through our program. We have a full glass blowing facility with three workstations, three benches. Uh, we have a 2,600 pound continuous melt clear uh, furnace, so we have as much clear glass as 60 people can use. And then we have a thousand pound, what's called a day tank, or uh, fill it up and empty it out tank. That's a color tank for glass blowing color or casting either clear or color. Uh, and as many uh, kilns and other pieces of equipment, including all cold working and grinding facilities and mold making facilities. Basically, the facilities uh, are fully equipped and can kind of make anything from lamp working a small fly to casting a uh, thousand pounds of glass at once. So there's everything for every type of student looking to make um, or articulate glass. As far as uh, our undergraduate program goes, we, uh, we don't have majors, so uh, we, we have students that will be working with, let's say, neon, glass casting, and digital video, or uh, printmaking, ceramics, and glass blowing. And by the time they become a senior, uh, they either decide to focus in just ceramics, or just glass, or just light, um, but in more cases than not, We'll have students working with a couple uh, facilities, a couple different professors, um, and making some really kind of interdisciplinary work that is kind of driven from ideas but technically supported from a couple different faculty and facilities. To talk about some assignments that an undergrad uh, may look at uh, as they come into the glass area sophomore year, uh, we tend to have uh, assignments that are uh, kind of balanced between looking at something very technically and asking a tough conceptual question. I think another thing uh, to, to mention or to talk about is our master's program. Uh, I would say that this is what we're really talking about is the undergraduate curriculum and the facilities, um, but something that strengthens that and adds to it is that we take four to five graduate students in glass per year. Uh, I should say we have four or five in the, in the program. Uh, each year we take two to three new ones a year. And that's like having not only kind of visiting artists that are at a higher level than undergrads, but also new energy, new types of working, new ways of thinking of the material. Uh, and they also help teach the classes. So it really brings new teaching energy and a lot of it to our program. If you have any questions about the program in particular, you can email myself, Angus Powers, uh, or Steve Edwards, and uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions.